Hello friends, how are you? Happy Monday. Hope your Monday was good. I just finished up with dinner, so I figured I had a little bit of time to do maybe a project. So I thought I would share it with you. You all know how I love hopping on here and sharing ideas. And uh, let's see. So if you're new or if you're one of my viewers, please just say hi and let me know where you're watching from. Um, it does take the comments just a little bit to get to me, but I like to know that you're here. So tonight, what have we got? Well, I went to the thrift store, one of my favorite places, and I found this rolling pin. And I think I paid a couple of dollars for it. And it's showing some age in the handle. It's a bit cracked, but it does have, I hope you can see it. You might be able to see it when I change the camera view, but it's got a cream and red and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this kind of that creamy color and then I'm going to chalk on the barrel of the rolling pin with our measure stir bake frost transfer and then we're going to add some ribbon and we're going to crawl her done. So I'm going to try and square this up so it's not so a bad view. <clears throat> I've got my Waverly chalk paint in cashew, which I just love. And I've got my transfer. And we're going to get to getting. So I'm going to show you my desk. Okay, guys. So I'm still in my work clothes. So hopefully you can see that nice color. Um, still works but you can just tell on this side of the handle it's you know it's showing some age so I think it's now it's time to be a decorative piece so over here I've just got my cashew chalk paint from Waverly and we're just gonna give this a nice coat and what I like about this Waverly paint is that it dries super fast um, and it leaves just a great, a great finish. You don't need to do multiple coats. And you guys always see me, you know, drying stuff with my quick dry tool, which is available in my shop. Um, and it is handy. And it's not as hot as like an embossing tool, which is what I used to use. Um, so you don't run the risk of burning your project. So the point would be, I'm going to try and hold this up as long as I can till it's dry enough to set down. And you'll see it it dries really really quick so I saw I follow a lot of crafters on um, Facebook and I saw a gal do one for like a holiday um, and it was 4th of July and it was just fun looking so I Thought, okay, you know, I have that red color. My red's a little brighter than this, but I think it's okay. I think it's going to be in the same family. Now we are going to have to wax this 
that does two things. One, it helps seal the paint. And two, it protects your transfer. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any brush marks. I mean, we want we we like things to. Thank you, Lila. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm busy, busy, busy making stuff for the farmers market. So we'll see. I have another one of these that was actually in the plastic package. That wasn't as interesting as this one with the colors, so I figured, all right, let me give it a try. I'm just gonna kind of stand this up so I can kind of get as clean an edge as possible. And I had a couple of thrills this weekend with regard to my little chalk business. So about a year ago, right before COVID hit, I had a co-worker of mine, his son got married. So I got to make them this beautiful chalk sign. And, you know, of course, then the wedding was completely postponed. They actually got married. Hi, Elizabeth. They actually got married, but they couldn't have a reception. But they had the reception this weekend. And they were all so quick to tell me how much they love that sign and the, how it was out and so many beautiful comments on it. And so that made me so happy. Um, and they've actually, the bride and groom, had it hanging in their apartment until they actually got married this weekend, which I thought was, well, wow, that's like a really nice compliment. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to try turning this on low, and then I just learned, um, and then I actually sold, I, I was so busy all weekend because I had to finish one of my orders for my realtor, um, her name is Nancy Bailey Hund. We are, we went to the same high school. And um, she came and picked up her four signs last night. So that was thrilling. It was like my very first sale. Yeah, so I mean, you know, I just keep making stuff. <laughs> And then I just found out that my neighbor across the street, her sister is getting married. So I have another one of those great gothic kind of style chalkboards from Hobby Lobby. You know, when they went on super clearance, I got like two or three of them. It's perfect for a wedding. So I just mentioned to her um, that I'll do her up that same wedding sign because of the feedback that I got. So, yeah, I'm getting there, Lila. I'm getting there. So i got to make some Mother's Day stuff. I need to come up with some good ideas. And then I have a request for a guest room. My girlfriend wants something like, don't make yourself too comfortable, it's only a guest room. And I'm like, well, we don't really have anything quite that snarky. Um, you know, we have a lot about home and, you know, my favorite thing and, and friends and stuff like that, but let's give it a little time. Yeah, I was pretty excited. So now I just got to get ready for these shows. And, oh, I also talked to... So, I, I always refer to him as my brother, um, Bob Jones, who passed away, um, who lived with us for a long time. Well, I spoke to his cousin today, and she's a big upcycler, uh, trash to treasure is how she put it. She likes to do things like that. 
and she wants to buy a kit, uh, like a little try me kit, and she lives very near me. So I invited her, I said, okay, you know, we'll find some time where I can show you how it works, and she might sign up because she wants to do it for her hobby. So who knows? I mean, like, it's... So my first show... Hi, Trisha! Yeah, it's so hard, though. I'm not great with the font yet, but, you know, it's possible. <clears throat> um, so the shows start... Um, my first show is May 8th, and I believe that's Mother's Day weekend. That's over at the EHT Recreation Center. And then my Farmer's Market show, if I ever get the thing turned in. Oh, and Lila, I have something um, to share with you, maybe for um, your teenies. Um, I'll, I'll message you and see if you want me to put it on the page. Um, but they start, and that's right out my back door, literally Skullville Fire Hall is right around the corner. Um, they start May 30th on Sundays from May 30th till June 27th, um, is, um, the farmer's market. And I believe it's 10 to 1. It's five Sundays. So, you know, it can't get much closer. So... We got a little brush marks, which I don't love, so. Yes, we were discussing it about business insurance. Yeah, so I think it would be helpful for other people to know. So anyways, yeah, lots of stuff happening over here at Creekside. And I was so productive yesterday. I'm exhausted today, but um, I got all the leaves out of my front yard. And I finished my order, which was like, I had to seal them. I had to paint some stuff. I did a welcome sign for my front, for my front, like a, a porch leaner. I was trying to come up with it. I didn't take a picture of it because it was my first one. And... Not my favorite, I, but I figured out what I want to do different. And, but it's nice. It's still nice. It's just, it's too, I had a one by six by six. So I figured, okay, let me try it. But what they really need to be, in my opinion, is one by eight by five. And <clears throat> I think it'll look a little better, so... Lord knows, I'm going to be making those. So, I'll just get this dried up and we'll wax it. So yeah, things are slowly building. And I sealed my tabletop. And I think I found a way to find some legs for it. I wanted some metal hairpin legs, you know, like that rustic style. And those suckers are expensive. I mean, like, for a set of three or four, it was like $60 for the stinking legs. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to pay that. Well, I noticed Target was having a sale on a nightstand. That had the same kind of legs that I wanted for $25. And I'm going to take the legs off and put them on my table. And that's going to go, it's going to go in the booth with me as an example, but um, um, it's going to go on our back patio. So I'm going to probably seal it a whole bunch more. Okay, just a few spots. Whoop. My overall feels pretty good. That's how quick that paint dries. That's why I like it. Alright. 
So now I am going to take some of our surface wax. Yeah, go to Habitat. Yeah, but hairpin legs, you know those metal ones? I keep meaning to go to the Restore. And I just, I don't know. My weekends get away from me. I really want to go there. So what the wax will do, I found out a bunch of, um, which brand is it? Um, the table at Target? I think it's Room Essentials. I, I don't know what their brand is. Or the paint. The paint is Waverly. You can just get it at Walmart. Waverly chalk. This happens to be the cashew color. I've had very good success with it in every color. And I really like their antique wax. I've used that a lot. All right, so we want to wax this like liberally, liberally. And buff it off. Yeah, it's way really. That's all it is. Walmart. It kind of reminds me of our old color antique linen in paste. All right, so you wanna put this on and then you just kinda of wanna buff it a little bit, let it sit for a few minutes. So far, I think it's looking pretty good. What do you think? I'm thrilled that I have three people watching me. That's awesome. And I heard today that I have some stalkers, or not stalkers, what do you call it, lurkers? that um, watch me all the time and just never comment. So, hey, you lurkers out there, <laughs> just say hi. Share it to somebody who might like it. I would love that. You would sprinkle it out there. We're not supposed to say the S word. Okay. So I've got my fuzzing cloth, and then this is a transfer that says measure, stir, bake, fr frost. And then you've got the little bowls. So measure, stir, and bake is probably going to fit. Frost is not going to fit around this. So I thought I would do it in red just to kind of tie in that end. It is a little bright, but this is like the only red red that we have. Then I thought, well, maybe I ought to do it in multiple colors, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to do red and then bring in maybe some black with my ribbon. And yeah, no, I didn't cut it because I'm going to try and wrap it just to see how far we can get. And if I need to, I can cut those off. So yeah, had some fun. Today was a tough day at work. Mondays always are. But I survived. I'm grateful for that. I made a nice dinner. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. I'm feeling better. Cool. Thanks, Liz. Appreciate that. I like the red, too. All right. So I'm going to use my little towel here. Try and help me stabilize this puppy. <clears throat> I was like, what am I going to put on this? And then I'm like, you dingy. I know what you're going to put on it. I'm going to test it out first because I want to get bake on there. Yeah, 
and that will make it. But that's going to be it, and that's fine. So just for some added protection, because I can tend to be messy, I went through my first whole pack of placement tape the other day. This is like washi tape. You can get it in my shop. Yeah, you don't have the energy to craft after Monday. See, it just calms me right down. And if I have an idea that I want to get out, I got to get it out of my head. I got to realize it. You know what I mean? And I go to bed so early. This helps me wind down. And Sundays, I'm, I, I have the hardest time going to sleep. Isn't that... Isn't that funny? I have the hardest time. And I know I gotta be up. You know, I gotta be in the work at seven. Yet every Sunday night, here it is midnight. Laurel's eyes wide open. All right, I'm just gonna kind of flip this back over itself, but it'll be ready. Okay. And I think that's a pretty good adhesion, believe it or not. I almost want to know if I should do it this way. Because I could pull it up as I go. Ah, yeah, now you're thinking, Laurel. What do you think, Sensei? I think this way and then up. It just calms me right down. Oh boy, this stuff needs a good mix. Do I have another one? No, I do not. I'm confusing it with ink. That's okay. So this is the candy apple red. It's the old formula, but you'll see. I just put in some distilled water and it's gonna come right back. I find sometimes using this tool is a little bit easier. You can be a little bit stronger with it. Yeah, new doesn't dry as fast, so this stuff, I might want to paste and peel, so I think going from the bottom up is going to be a little bit better. And I can get this junk out of my way. And by the time I come back around, it will be all set. Now this looks pretty chunky, and that's because it's chalk. But it works just fine. I like to get, when I'm working with red, I like to get it as much of it off as I can. Okay, here we go. I was wondering what that noise was. It's the sink. If you hear that dripping. So my little cat, Getty, he's a tuxedo cat. He is horribly water addicted. Like water must be running. He has a fountain. He will sit there on the edge of the sink and like, mom, what's up with my water? And we spent most of the day in the garage yesterday, and he is 
Uh, Keith is his emotional support person, <laughs> we've decided. He was howling at the door like, oh my goodness. One of the neighbors came by with her dog and we were like, I said, do you hear your boy? And we were all the way in the front of the garage and you could still hear him. He was not having it. So I can tell that somebody's trying to make amends because they've left the water on, on a trickle for Mr. Gen Monster to come up here. Um, my little area is in um, the extra, the great room, I guess you'd call it, upstairs. All right, let me just move that. All right, whoop, don't put your finger in it. Okay, one little smudge. That's not, that's nothing to worry about. We can get it. He's old now. Uh, Ged is, he was born in July of 2008. So he is, I don't know. I can't think anymore. It's Monday. Come on now. There we go. Ten, twenty. Oh, he's thirteen. He'll be thirteen. But he's spry as anything. Let me tell you what. He runs around here like a rocket. And if he can't find his dad, forget it. He's really upset. Yeah, you know what? Part of me. He just tolerates me. He did let me love him up today, though. That was nice. Thirteen. Yes, I can't add today. He will be thirteen in July. And he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Except for the water thing. Always been. I don't ever remember him not being addicted to water. I mean, occasionally he'll put his face in it. That's how much he loves it. Okay. I know you guys can't see. I have to wait for the big reveal at the end. We're almost there. But the good part is the bake part is dry enough that it can sit on my towel. And there was just one little spot that I had to go back and fix. So hopefully it's not getting worse. We are almost there. Okay. All right, you ready? Let's see this puppy.
Okay. Now I know there was one little area. All right, I'm sorry. I, I know I want to show this to you, but my hands got crap on them and I don't want to pick it up. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Measure. Stir. Bake. So we've got to fix that little K there and a little tiny bit on the T. I really like it though, I have to say. So I'm just going to hit it with my dryer and then I'm going to chip off that other stuff and then I'm just going to put some, uh, what you call, some ribbon on it and we're going to call it done and that's going to be tonight's project. I think it's kind of adorable. What do you guys think so far? I also have I picked this up, the sifter, and I was thinking it would look cute. I could either put some flowers in it, but I wanted to put like a little chip. I might paint this up too. We'll see. I have a hard time painting old things. They gotta be really ready to go. But I also did a pie plate. Have an old pie plate. And I painted it kind of a gray and black. Or black? No. It's right over there. I showed the wear on the edge. Do you still? Well, I'm hoping someone will like this to decorate their, their kitchen. Got a, little, got a little deal to do on the stir and the K, but the measure came out beautiful. And the two. All right, I don't think it's too bad, but you can see on my mat where I was laying it down. Isn't that funny? The measure was last. So. Give that a little attention. I have blue in my kitchen. Browns and blues. Like. Last two kitchens I've had. I think that's got it. All right, so what I'm gonna try is a couple of things. In my painting yesterday of painting boards and wood, I found that when I make a little mistake, that a couple things help. One, make sure it's completely dry, and then you can just try and use this tool and scratch it away because this is like Teflon and sometimes that works. If that doesn't work then what I do is I take some of this Clean Freak and I just spray it and I take a Q-tip and I just dip the Q-tip into it and I can, I can remove it real easy. But this so far, I'm 
my goodness, is that cat spoiled? Okay, so there's just a tiny bit of residue there. So since, since this is something that I do want to try and sell. For painting canoe paddles, I have mom's old paddles. Oh, wow. I have a bunch of ones. I have a canoe. There's one that go jump in the lake. Um, see, we have this truck. And it had it came with all these accessories to like put on top of the truck. Yeah, I would say go jump in the lake for sure. Or something similar. And get some chalk paint from, from Walmart. The, the, I mean, this brand literally comes in every color. And you see how easy it is. And just go for it. I mean, it's a little intimidating when you have something, you know, like that. That's, you know, I'll say an heirloom. You know, it was your, it's your mom's. But you can always... If you get some wax, and I even dip the tip of my little Teflon thing in when I gotta get in close. And it doesn't, what I like about it, it doesn't affect the Waverly paint. It just takes off that very tip top, you know, layer. All right, I think that's pretty good, gang. I'm not thrilled with the K, but you know. It's okay. So I'm just gonna let that dry real quick. Yeah, cashew. This is the color, cashew. It's Waverly chalk acrylic paint matte finish. It has no prep to it. The color name is cashew. That's that beige, which I quite like. I have a lot of different colors. Um, I like pool for the blue. It's like this really light, light, you know, really nice blue. Um, I like your antique white. All right, red. Red and tan. I have red and black. I know I have some red and cream gam check ribbon. And then I also want to use these. These were strips that I had ripped apart from, okay, this is the right one. This is going to be awesome. Um, I don't know, I had some, some strands of fabric that I was going to use. And then I just ripped the strips and I was going to make it into a bow, but I did not. Here's another one. But this had the salvage edge on it, which is why I didn't use it. Okay. So let me just rip that. Cut these down. Better than staying in the closet. We had talked about trying something with them. What about the wax? Um, we sell great surface wax, but um, if you need something locally, you could use Kills makes a wax that looks very similar to this, but it's Kills brand and it's transparent. That's really good. You, I used to use Min Wax, just wax. Um, and the wax is very important. I will say. All right. So now I think we've got, how could we not, right? With the red check. I know it's a little low TT, but I like it. So we're going to do it. And I was going to put some, I have some of this burlap. I don't want to 
bits of this. I hit a heck of a sale at good old Joann's during the holidays. And I stocked up on colors that I thought that I would use throughout the year. All right. I kind of want that primitive. Let me see here. We're going to have to play with this. Yeah, you know what's doing it is that burlap ribbon is so hard because it's a bit wider. So I think what we're going to do is let's go with these two first. Let's do these two first. Because that's more of what I wanted to show out. That's got it. I like it. I like this too, but perhaps not this time. Perhaps not this time. Yeah, I feel like like red check either gets used for barbecues or Christmas. <laughs> but I like it. All right. Let's trim it up. Wow, that dig on water. Drippity, drippity, drippity. No wonder the water bill is like. He is so funny with that dig on water, though. I have to say. All right. All right. And here we go. All right, guys, just like that. We've been on 44 minutes, and I've completely said hello, chatted, painted this, stenciled it with the transfer, and now I think you've got something super cute. What do you think? I have to say I kind of like it a lot. And I might have to make one on the other one. And the other one is actually bigger. I think it's slightly bigger. Yeah, it's a little taller. Um, this one had the plastic on it. They just opened Hobby Lobby there. Oh my goodness. And they just did away with a Dagon coupon. But... There are so many things there that you could find. So I got both of these for um, $3.50. And this one had, it's got, I'm going to have to take something on there to get that residue off. It's from tape. But 
this one was in the plastic. I mean, it's nothing special. But this one I kind of liked just because, look how chipped up the end is. It really looks old. It is old. Okay, guys. Oh, that's so nice, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. I'm inspired by you. You're an incredible person. So I'm going to put this up. And show you like this. Yeah, I, I totally would. Hey, do you remember that craft fair we went to down in um, Port Norris? And the, um, I think I got this blanket, this orange blanket that was kind of woven and it had a cat on it. And that was in my apartment until I was like 26 years old. <laughs> I remember that so much. So I know that you're a big fair lover. So it's kind of neat to be thinking about being on the other side. All right, guys. So check out your thrift places. Found items can be really upcycled and made really, really cute. I will probably spray this with some um, spray acrylic just because I want to make sure that, you know, the design stays. But that's just how quick and easy it can be. So thanks so, so very much for uh, watching and spending a little bit of your Monday evening with me. And I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, um, with another project. Perhaps we'll do, I have oven mitts to do, I have a pie plate to do, I have the sifter to fix out. i got a little kitchen theme going on. So, um, yeah. I think this would be adorable with some ribbon, some flowers, and a little, I don't know if you can see it. I just realized I didn't have my fancy light on. Hang on one second. That might help us. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but in Boston here, it says Foley made in the USA. So what I'm kind of thinking to kind of tie this all together, maybe as a cute little set, is I might, I might paint it around the center. Leave the galvanized top handle, but I just might paint the center. And then in this same cashew, and then I'll pick, take a, a just a chip, a wood chip, like a wood circle or something, and um, do something about food on there. I will, Elizabeth. Thanks so very much for coming. It means a lot to me, and uh, we got to catch up. And thanks for everybody else who's joined me. Um, See you tomorrow about 7-ish. Have a great night, everybody.